In today's video, we're gonna test the performance on the AMD Ryzen R5 2400G with RX Vega 11 to figure out if this is still a relevant APU, budget CPU on the market in 2018 and possibly even 2019. And yeah, with that said, let's jump into it. Hey, how is it going guys? Robin here on Chips Entertainment, bringing you the best tips and tools for gaming on the channel. You'll find PC components, tech gadgets and console accessories, as well as product reviews and even unboxings. If you're interested in that, consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any uploads. So in today's video, we're gonna be testing this budget gaming CPU. Yeah, for 159 US dollars on Amazon, you can get this complete gaming experience now few things to know latest driver has been used here which is the Radeon Adrenaline Edition 18.10.4 which is the latest driver released by AMD a few days ago now have I done any overclocking on the system no I haven't everything has been left completely untouched here you can see the exact numbers provided by AMD Ryzen master as well is there anything else yes so I I am using 8 gigabytes of memory here and obviously I'm running them in dual channel which I'm highly recommend you guys to do as well running in single channel will penalize the performance and yeah I'm running these memories in its native 2667 megahertz I've selected the XMP profile in BIOS so we're gonna be testing six games today it's gonna be CSGO World of Warcraft we got Fortnite we got Overwatch we got GTA 5 and and lastly we got doom as well now with that said let's jump into csgo so counter strike global offensive isn't very demanding and maxed out we're able to achieve an average frame rate of three digits which is nice to see although it should be said i did not expect anything else here probably not you either what's worth noting is that the cpu stays around 30 to 40 percent use usage throughout my whole testing here but the gpu was peaking all the time because we didn't set any frame limit now if your goal is to play games such as fortnite csgo league or even dota in a reasonable frame rate of 60 frames per second i'm telling you now already you can do that with this apu alone you don't need to look elsewhere guys as long as you're fine with compromising on the settings in some titles and with that said let's move on to wow i found the preset 5 to be pretty accurate for this build as always simply pause the video as i'm scrolling through the settings pretty quickly here worth noting here is that i'm running dx12 actually and view distance is set to 5 out of 10 now if you're questing or doing arena or similar having viewing angles set to 5 should maybe work in many areas but otherwise i would actually recommend to drag this all the way up to the very highest otherwise you're missing out on the experience in my opinion definitely worth playing around with as this has a pretty high penalty on the frame rate but overall game runs very well with an average of 57 fps in busy areas time to play some fortnite again believe it or not game runs great on the rx vega 11 achieved the best result by first selecting low as the preset and then set the texture to high after that i decided to also push the scaling all the way up to 1920 by 1080 by doing so you get rid of the blurriness and you end up with a much crisper and sharper looking game in general but with minimal performance impact as you can see however in fortnite you need the viewing distance as well otherwise you're gonna be leaving opportunity on the table so therefore you're gonna want to drag this all the way up to ultra or epic as epic likes to call it otherwise there's just no point even playing the game so with everything set to low except for textures and viewing distance you end up with a great looking game that averages around 55 fps and peaks at around the 90 mark whenever you're looking at less pc areas overall i'm completely satisfied with these settings guys and i would be more than happy to play at this frame rate myself now it's time to play some overwatch by default the game will pick medium preset so uh, i decided to try that 
but because it looked too much like the Xbox 360, it got me scared, so I had to do something about it. High works great here, game runs incredibly well, to my surprise as well. Now, even during the most intense moment, I never dipped under the 50 mark. Again, you can see the exact settings on what I was using as I'm scrolling through them. Worth noting here, guys, that the game is not being scaled 100% natively here, meaning that there is some downscaling which helps the frame rate a bit here it's not very obvious i'm not sure if you guys can pick it up on the video but the game looks generally crisp and beautiful fluidity is most important after all and overwatch runs great on the amd ryzen 2400g with the radeon rx vega 11 yes i also decided to jam through the benchmark tool in gta as well if there is any one of you guys still playing it since it's a sandbox game and a lot of open wide areas it's a great test to just run to see where the system like this lands many people have also played the game at least once so you can relate more visually what to expect in general i don't know if that made any sense whatsoever but yeah anyway after been playing around with his settings a lot i decided to leave everything set to low with a few exceptions as always i'm scrolling through the exact settings of what i was using but worth noting is that i'm sticking to dx12 here because the game didn't want me to run dx11 since we only have 8 gigabytes of total memory i didn't want to push the system too hard and dx11 requires more RAM than the extend run in the end now with an average frame rate of 55 from running the benchmark tool i'm smiling even though you can question whether you want to play at these low settings this game at low looks like san andreas to me let me know if you can relate last but definitely not least I tested Doom as well, and I tested both Vulcan and OpenGL 4.5 here. Vulcan runs best with around 8 to 12 more frames regardless of what settings I was using. Therefore, I decided to stick to Vulcan. 1080p low results in around 40 average frame with the scaling to 100%. So, uh, some form of scaling is necessary here for an uh, enjoyable experience. I play Played around with the different settings for a bit but decided to set scaling to 70% and ramping everything up to medium and it gave me a not awfully looking game so to speak game actually looks pretty good and considering we're actually playing on an integrated GPU felt quite unreal to be frank at these settings i was able to reach the necessary 60 fps making it a very enjoyable experience with an average under the 60 mark it is as good as it gets as a bonus guys I can say that I also tried Black Ops 4 as well, but the lack of RAM made me skip the game in the end. It would have meant too much headache to bother with, as 8GB simply isn't enough for an APU system where the whole system, including graphics card, shares the very same memory. And yeah, with that said, guys, that is my testing round for this time. Would you like to see more similar tests like this in the future? Also, would you like me to overclock the system and, and do a run on that as well? Please Please let me know i would be more than happy to do that for you now thank you so much for watching this video and until next time have an awesome day all right bye